Welcome to Reach It Workshop. Why do we get spots after cleaning our windows when we use tap water or pure water and how do we avoid it? Well, the answer to this is what we call TDS. If you already know about TDS, you'll undoubtedly appreciate this topic as a tool for training your new staff. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. The solids are actually minerals in solution in the water that cannot evaporate when water beads evaporate. At the end of evaporation, we get a spot on the glass which is made up of these solids. The next word to focus on is dissolved. This means the minerals are in solution. Now you can get a spot on glass that's made from dirt However, that is not TDS because the dirt is actually in suspension. And the difference between solution and suspension is whether the solid falls out of the water. For example, let's take two beakers of identical water. Into one beaker we stir a teaspoon of salt and the other beaker we stir into a teaspoon of dirt. Let's do that now. Two beakers, the right ones, and I've got some salt tip that in there. I've got some dirt, tip that in there. Stir the salt and that will go into solution. We stir the dirt okay great. You can see the salt and the dirt are both in the water but the salt which is a mineral is in solution and the dirt is in suspension now if we wait a few hours it'll look like this the beaker with the dirt has a layer of dirt in the bottom because the dirt has actually fallen out of its state of suspension the beaker with the salt has nothing on the bottom because the salt is still in solution. Now, if we would evaporate the water from both of these beakers, we're replicating the drying process, just like how a water bead dries on glass. The beaker with the dirt will have a layer of dry dirt on the bottom, which is like a brown spot on the glass. And the beaker with the salt will also have a layer on the bottom, but it'll be salt which is white, and it looks like a white spot on the glass. Okay. Now you have this understanding, let's get a little bit technical and apply it to window cleaning. Salt is a mineral, it's called sodium chloride. The other minerals found in tap water are calcium carbonate and magnesium sulfate. These are the minerals that mostly show white spots when water beads dry, the same as when the salt dried in the beaker. White spots are more visible than brown spots. Most other minerals in tap water do not dry white, they dry like brown and black. No matter the mineral, when the water evaporates, they are solid, so they will leave spots. The difference is the whiter the spot, whether from minerals or dirt, the more visible it is. The reason this affects us as window cleaners is because we're paid to leave spot-free, transparent windows, so visible spots are not acceptable. You can get spots on windows when waterfed window cleaning from three major errors. One, using rinse water that has minerals in solution. In other words, that water is not ultra pure. Two, by introducing dirt into your rinse water from the top frames. And this is from bad technique or poorly designed rinse bars. Or three, by not removing the dirty water from your window cleaning process off the window when you're rinsing. And this is the problem we experience when we're trying to rinse hydrophobic glass with pencil jets or poorly designed rinse bars. Now there's a lot more I can share with you about TDS and window cleaning and spots and everything. However, I'm gonna do that in other workshop topics. We wanna to keep these all short and direct. If you wanna be notified as each video is released, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash future of cleaning, or to our newsletters at futureofcleaning.com. And don't forget, we're also recording some of these live on Facebook so you can get them even before they're edited. If you like our Future Cleaning Reach It page, 
um, then you'll be notified of the live events. That's all for now. See you in the next Reach It workshop.